So a typical application involving percents might look something like this. Suppose that a store analyzes its records and finds that 5% of its sales are over $300. How many sales over $300 should the store expect on a day when it makes 240 sales? Now the first thing that we notice in this problem is that we're, we're not going to do any arithmetic to that number 300, right? It's just there as a label. The second thing we notice is that this really is a, a percent-based question. This problem is telling us about a percent of the sales at the store, and it's telling us how many sales are made. What it's telling us about some of the sales is that they're over $300. And then it's asking us how many things like that we see in a day. So this really is a percent related problem because we're being told a percent and the base, and asked to find out the amount. How did we identify those 240 sales as the base? Well, we first said, percent of what? And just looking at the wording, it says, percent of total sales. And then we looked through the rest of the problem and said, do I know how many total sales? And reading through the problem, yes, 240. That's how we identified the base as 240. Identifying the portion is a little bit more complicated because we have to look at the question a little bit more holistically to see it. We need to say, what is this percent telling me about? What does the 5% represent? And in this problem, we're told explicitly what the 5% represents. It's just the sales that are over $300. The main idea of this story is that it's telling me of all the store's sales, some of them are over $300. And then we look through the problem and say, do I know how many sales are over $300? And it turns out that no, I don't. That's what I want to find. So this is a fairly simple problem. We're told explicitly what the base and the portion represent. Let's see a more complicated problem where we have to import some of our knowledge from outside the problem in order to answer it. Suppose Sydney takes a multiple choice test consisting of 40 questions, all equally weighted. If she answers 37 of those questions correctly, what is her test score as a percent? Notice that here, it does not tell us explicitly what the base is. So we need to think about, well, what does a percent test score represent? From our past experience, we know what a test score represents. It represents the percent of the test questions that we've answered correctly. So that means that in this case, the portion will be the number correct, the percent will be the percent score, and the base will be the total number of questions. Now that we see that, we can look back at the story and say that there were 37 correct, 40 total questions, and we want to know the percent score. This gives us the equation 37 equals our unknown percent times 40. To solve for the percent, we need to get rid of multiplication by 40. 
So we just divide and we get 37 divided by 40 is 0.925 and then converting that to a percent our answer is going to be 92.5 percent. So again in some percent based problems we need to think about what the percent represents based on knowledge that we bring in from outside the problem. Other percent based problems will tell us explicitly what the base and the portion are.